Prepare for a cosmic event of potentially unimaginable proportions. Betelgeuse, the massive red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, is exhibiting signs that have raised alarms in the astronomical community. Recent observations, particularly those using the James Webb Space Telescope, have revealed disturbing and significant changes in this colossal star. Prominent astrophysicist Brian Cox has issued serious warnings, prompting the question, are we about to witness a spectacular supernova that could permanently alter our view of the night sky? In the vast and ever-changing universe where stars are born, evolve, and perish in dazzling displays Betelgeuse has recently captured the attention and concern of both astronomers and the public. This red supergiant, vast in both size and age, has long stood out due to its reddish hue and unpredictable brightness. Its prominent position in Orion and its historical visibility have made it a subject of fascination for centuries. But recent anomalies have elevated that curiosity into scientific urgency. Betelgeuse, currently in the later stages of its stellar life, is believed to be teetering on the edge of a monumental transformation. What could the recent changes signal? Could we be witnessing the prelude to a celestial event on a grand scale of supernova? Betelgeuse is truly enormous. Based on recent interferometric data, it is estimated to be about 955 times the size of our sun. To grasp its immensity, imagine if Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system. Its surface would extend well past the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This enormous size is not just a spectacle, it reflects the star's advanced evolutionary stage. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life a phase marked by expansion and cooling after millions of years of fusing hydrogen into helium at its core dot in terms of age. Betelgeuse is relatively young on a human timescale approximately 10 million years old, yet in stellar terms, it is reaching the twilight of its life. It started as a hot blue star and, over millions of years, evolved into the cooler red supergiant we observe today. The life cycles of stars like Betelgeuse are shaped by the interplay of nuclear fusion and gravitational forces, leading to dramatic transformations. One of Betelgeuse's defining traits is its reddish appearance, which stems from its relatively cool surface temperature compared to stars like our sun. While the sun's surface burns at about 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface is cooler. With temperatures ranging between 3,500 and 4,000 Kelvin, this lower temperature causes it to emit light in longer wavelengths, giving it its characteristic red hue. But this coloration is more than visual. It provides insight into the star's internal state and the physical processes within its vast gaseous layers. Adding to Betelgeuse's mystery is its recorded color change in human history. Ancient Roman and Chinese sources describe Betelgeuse as a yellow star around 2,000 years ago. It wasn't until the 9th century that Arabic astronomers recorded it as red. This historical shift is not just an anecdote it suggests ongoing evolutionary changes in the star itself. Betelgeuse's variable brightness is another compelling feature. It is classified as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its light rhythmically increases and decreases over time. This brightness variability has been documented for centuries and typically follows a cycle of approximately 400 days with an additional longer cycle that spans around five years. Sir John Herschel first noted these fluctuations in 1836, although oral traditions among Aboriginal peoples suggest even earlier awareness. What makes Betelgeuse particularly enigmatic is its irregular behavior, unlike other stars with predictable. Brightness patterns, Betelgeuse occasionally deviates from its expected luminosity, hinting at complex and not fully understood dynamics within its massive structure. One of the most striking episodes in recent years was Betelgeuse's dramatic dimming in late 2019, a phenomenon now known as the Great Dimming. This unexpected drop in brightness captivated both scientists and amateur astronomers. Betelgeuse, typically one of the brightest stars in the night sky, began losing luminosity at a rate of about 0.01 magnitudes per day, 
reaching a historic low in February 2020. The dimming was so profound that it became difficult to see with the naked eye. Even from areas with minimal light pollution, a major challenge in observing Betelgeuse is the time delay in starlight. Since the star is about 640 to light years away, we are observing it as it appeared over six centuries ago. This time lag complicates our ability to monitor real-time changes. Essentially, any dramatic event happening now on Betelgeuse won't be visible from Earth until centuries later, creating a time paradox in stellar observation. The 2019 to 2020 dimming triggered an intense scientific investigation. Andrea Dupree, Associate Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, led a team using the Hubble Space Telescope to study changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. These efforts were part of a multi-year project monitoring the star's variable activity. Hubble's ultraviolet sensitivity allowed astronomers to detect changes in the heated layers above Betelgeuse's surface. Primarily driven by massive convection cells within the star, data collected in 2019 and 2020 revealed large quantities of material moving outward from the star's surface at speeds of about 200,000 miles per hour. This ejected material eventually formed a dense cloud of gas and dust extending millions of miles into space believed to be the cause of the dimming. Dupree's team estimated that roughly twice the normal amount of mass was expelled from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere during this event. Although all stars lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's mass loss during this period was extreme, especially when compared to stars like our Sun. This mass ejection sparked theories about the star's future. Some scientists speculated it could be an early indicator of a supernova, while others pointed to a large dust cloud formed by the expelled material as the more likely cause of the dimming. A third theory suggested that changes within Betelgeuse's photosphere the visible surface layer could have contributed to the observed drop in brightness. Spectroscopic analysis indicated a decline in surface temperature by at least 170 Kelvin during the dimming, supporting the idea of a massive dark spot or other surface alteration. Ultimately, Hubble's observations proved crucial in solving the mystery. They revealed that the dimming was most likely due to a large-scale outburst of hot material from a giant convection cell on Betelgeuse's surface. This material traveled outward, cooled, and condensed into dust grains, which then blocked light from roughly one quarter of the star's surface. Observations from both space and ground-based telescope confirmed the dimming occurred mostly. In the southern hemisphere, the event was traced back to the release of superheated plasma, which expanded into cooler outer layers and formed the obscuring dust cloud. The scale of this ejection was astonishing, estimated at about 400 billion times more material than the mass typically shed by our sun. This immense outflow catapulted Betelgeuse back into scientific focus. With discussions ongoing about whether it signals the star's impending collapse or is simply another chapter in its complex stellar evolution, while no definitive conclusion has been reached regarding the timing of Betelgeuse's eventual supernova, the 2019 to 2020 dimming event offered unprecedented insight into the internal dynamics of red supergiants. For now, Betelgeuse continues to shine albeit unpredictably offering astronomers a rare window into the final stages of a star's life.